In life, you will meet a lot of mean and disrespectful people. If they hurt you, tell yourself that it's because they've got issues and you're on a different level than they are. That will help keep you from reacting to their insensitivity because there is nothing worse than bitterness and vengeance. Walk away, keep your dignity, and always be true to yourself. When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. This misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it, trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. Free yourself from dysfunctional people who are experts at meeting their own needs at the expense of yours. Do not let people stay in your life who trample on your feelings or behave badly. Set clear boundaries so that you do not get caught up in their maze of madness or feel responsible for their life choices or consequences. Live in your own story. Do not try to edit someone else's. They caused the first wound, but you are causing the rest. That is what not forgiving does. They got it started, but you keep it going. Forgive and let it go or it will eat you alive. You think they made you feel this way, but when you won't forgive, you are the one inflicting the pain on yourself. Learn from the lessons life teaches you, and don't waste your time on people who are there in your life for their convenience and who cheat you, lie to you, and stab you in the back. Don't allow people to use you, then forget you. Just be strong and don't let anything break your spirit. Choose the people whom you want in your life, the people you would be proud to say, they are your friends. Do not let the world make you hard. Do not let pain make you hate. Do not let the bitterness steal your sweetness. Because you can't be bitter and expect your life to be sweet. Don't let this world make you bitter. Don't let the actions of other people turn you cold on the inside. Certain things happen that hurt us. People come that leave us. And most of all, there are moments when you're bound to fall. Don't let those things make you unkind. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad, but it's never okay to do other people wrong just because you were done wrong. We're all human. We break, we make mistakes, but don't let pain and sadness run your lives. Wake up in the morning and do what you think is right. There are moments in your life where you feel like giving up and you can't take it anymore. It's okay. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. I know there are times when we are weak, but the things that show your weak side are also the same ones that make you stronger in the long run. It's all about taking 
whatever life throws at you and learning from it. Life doesn't always introduce us to the people we want to meet. Sometimes life puts us in touch with the people we need to meet to help us, to hurt us, to love us, and to gradually strengthen us into the person we were meant to become. When other people treat you poorly, walk away, smile and keep being you. Don't ever let someone else's bitterness change the person you are. Hard times are often blessings in disguise. Let go and let life strengthen you. No matter how much it hurts, hold your head up and keep going. This is an important lesson to remember when you're having a rough day, a bad month, or a crappy year. Truth be told, sometimes the hardest lessons to learn are the ones your spirit needs the most. You either get bitter or you get better. It's that simple. You either take what has been dealt to you and allow it to make you a better person or you allow it to tear you down. The choice does not belong to fate. It belongs to you. Be yourself. If you water yourself down to please people or to fit in or to not offend anyone, you lose the power, the passion, the freedom and the joy of being uniquely you. It's much easier to love yourself when you are being yourself. Do not take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Don't let bitter, unhappy people drag you down to their level. Instead, use their behavior as an example of how not to behave and be grateful you are nothing like them. In order to become the person you're meant to be, living the amazing life you're meant to live, sometimes you have to go through hard times. Sometimes you have to be broken down so that you can learn, grow, release and recalibrate. When times are tough, remind yourself that what is happening to you is happening for a reason. The most important lesson I've learned over the years is don't let anyone make you cruel. No matter how badly you want to give the world a bitter taste of its own medicine, it's never worth losing yourself. Just always be the better person and make your intentions pure. What and who you are is what you'll attract, what you'll maintain. Pain is inevitable and it will always exist. But if you focus on understanding what you are feeling and why you are feeling it, you will overcome it. 
Your dignity can be mocked, abused, compromised, toyed with, lowered and even bad-mouthed, but it can never be taken from you. You have the power today to reset your boundaries, restore your image, start fresh with renewed values, and rebuild what has happened to you in the past. Whatever comes our way, whatever battle we have raging inside of us, we always have a choice. It is our choices that makes us who we are, and we always have a choice to do what's right. I choose to live by choice, not by chance to make changes, not excuses, to be motivated, not manipulated, to be useful, not used, to excel, not compete. I choose self-esteem, not self-pity. I choose to listen to my inner voice, not the random opinion of others. I choose to be strong, and be myself. I choose to be better and not bitter. <laughs>